fishing rod. Right, we're cold, I'm freezing, getting in the Jeep and we're going down the range. Yeah, we're gonna go down the slide with the GoPro. There's always one in the crowd. Oh, oh, no. Absolutely loving it. We're gonna go down the slide with the GoPro. Poor low, got the crocs on, but it is slippery. Alrighty, we are ready. We are on Go GoPro Cam. Woo! 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 That's pretty good. The water is so fresh and there's so many big fish in here as well. Should have bought the fishing rod. So when you come into the um, Big Crystal, Big Crystal Creek car park, it's around about, I'm going to say 800 meters. The first part to here and then from here down the track is probably about 100 meters so it's an easy walk we're just making our way back now got a little bit excited so we didn't actually video any footage going in but um it's a pretty good pathway i gotta say what do you reckon mr b yeah there's two pathways once you get to the big crystal yeah. slides so you there's the upper up. yeah so there was the upper part and then there was the um you got bug in the eye again yep <laughs> and then there was um, the lower part, but yeah, it was pretty easy. And we were just saying again, I know we... Oh, there we go. Bike riders, there we go. Great. I guess Hello. you can ride down there. Yeah. There you go. Five, four, four and a half K. Okay. Oh, okay. There you go. That's what... That's okay. That's what you were asking about a second ago. Yeah. So behind us, I guess you can go mountain bike riding. Hey, how was your ride? Yeah, good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so yeah, there's the... Um, Oh, but wait, there's more. So there's the um, yeah, the upper pools and the lower pools. Are we going to go to Little Crystal? Uh, I might, might see how we're going for time. We'll, we'll see how we go and um, yeah, Hello, we'll, mate. we'll um, show you if we're going there. Off they go. That's the end of them. <laughs> She's skinny and windy. So I've just decided to take a little scenic drive up to, we think it's called Paluma. So it's in the Paluma National Park. And boy, she's windy, isn't it? Yeah, Far it's out. skinny. Yeah, skinny. Oof. Oh, Maidenhair Fern Creek. It's got some really cool names. We just went past um, Fairy Falls. I didn't actually see any fairies. And Wolf Farm. Yeah. So we've come back onto the main road from Big Crystal. We've headed back up towards, which is weird, Little Crystal. And we're just gonna check out and see what we can find, really. Well, we're actually looking for a lunch spot. So we're looking for somewhere to have lunch and we're just following the road. I'll show you the road, she's pretty skinny. Who knows? We'll see when we get there. So, finding a spot for lunch <laughs> on the skinny road, we just decided to um, pull in over sort of just a little bit up from Little Crystal. We can hear Little Crystal, and now we're gonna explore. We've come prepared, we've got the brolly this time, eh? I'm feeling a little bit cool now, I've gotta say, the temperature has dropped dramatically coming up this range, hasn't it? Oh, we didn't even see what Big Bruce he said. What do you reckon he got to? The 21. Woof, it's a bit fresh. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm keen to check out Little Crystal. Woo! <laughs> Which one do you think is better? I think they're both a bit different. I definitely wasn't expecting um, Little Crystal to be quite that big. But yeah, it was pretty spectacular. So you could um, gain access to either side of the bridge 
It's actually, as I said before, it's pretty cool up here. So reason I didn't go for a swim, but you can definitely go swimming at um, Little Crystal. We are going to get back in Brucey. I think it's probably, I think it's saying around about 10K up to the township. So at top, I think we're traveling at about 40 to 50 kilometers an hour going up the range and we're just going through clouds, which is pretty crazy. The temperature has dropped dramatically. I didn't really bring any spare clothes, so I'm gonna be freezing up here. I think we're probably nearly there. We have no idea what to expect. Oh no, it ends. Three more kilometers, yay! Three more k's of this, Mr. B. Yep. <laughs> <gasps> Two kilometers to go. Our top speed, 30 to 40 kilometers an hour. <laughs> it is taking a while to get to the top, but it is worth it. We are high in the clouds. We're seeing it in our true form from the last couple of days with rain, mist, but no wind. So that's good. Now they definitely are right. Check this out. Take a walk in the clouds. That's all there is up here, clouds and mist. So this is, yeah, the area we've covered. There's not a lot here. We did find out there's a school. We can't seem to find any shops or anything and it looks like there's a lot of walks. So this is Paluma, this is what we found. Big Brucey, he's ready to take us back. Oh my gosh, I'm shivering, it's freezing cold. So on that note, did the temperature drop anymore? 16, but it does have- a Top big, of 16. The town does have a big strong tie with the military. Oh, does it? Oh. oh. Any any um, facts you want to tell us? No, babe. Okay. All right. On that note, we're cold. I'm freezing. Getting in the Jeep and we're going down the range. So there's a couple of interesting facts about Paluma. Number one, they only have a population of approximately 68 people. That's incredible. That is so tiny. But in saying that, this one has got me. No wonder I'm feeling cold. This little town is completely covered in mist and cloud for a whole three months of their year. That's insane. Imagine that. 16 degrees. That's crazy. Well, there you go. Big Brucey is sitting on 16 degrees now. That's insane. <sighs> I tell ya. But it is a very beautiful place. It's very tiny. We haven't even seen a shop as yet. So one other quirky thing, we haven't driven to it because it is quite a long way out and we have no need to go there, but they actually have a full on solar paneled, solar run, solar powered resort. How cool is that? That's pretty good. There seems to be a lot of walks you can do. We've stopped at, oh gosh, these signs, they keep attacking Bruce. We've stopped at two um, lookouts and basically all we can see is white out. So not even going to show you that. Have we enjoyed our drive up here? Have we enjoyed our drive up here, Mr. B? Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> I think it's been good. It's definitely been worth it. And we've seen things that we haven't seen before. So I still would recommend it, but tell us, Big Crystal or Little Crystal? What do you reckon the favorite is? Leave a comment below. Good frosty mango. It's pretty good. Mm. I'm shivering, but it still tastes good. And Mr. B, he loves his ice cream, so we are finishing up this episode at Frosty Mango. Yep. <laughs> a bit random, I know, but we've had a good day today, so we covered a couple of things, so that was good. Absolutely. And you know what? 
there's more adventures to come so thanks for watching guys remember like subscribe tell your friends thumbs up yeah and have fun go on adventures be safe see you next week and you can get free taste samplers at frosty mango too but i went for traditional mango because you know what it'd be rude not to Oh